Endowed with rich and extensive natural resources, Mozambique's economy is developing steadily. Political stability and continuing post-Civil War reforms have helped lead to promising growth rates. In this scenario, trade plays a key role. Yet there's more work to be done for Mozambicans to fully enjoy the advantages of national, regional and global trade. The country still faces constraints in terms of supply capacity and quality infrastructure to meet modern-day market requirements. What does this mean? It means that local producers need to comply more efficiently with standards that govern both the quality and the safety of their products in order to satisfy national and international consumers. A kilo of peanuts must weigh exactly the same in the Netherlands as in the country of its origin, Mozambique. The nutritional information on the packaging of local fruit drinks must answer all questions of consumers in South Africa. The cement produced by Mozambican companies must be of a high quality and safe. Expanding trade volume by alleviating market-related constraints is the key. A situation which the government of Mozambique, the European Union and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, is well aware of and responding to with a strategic intervention, the Business Environment Support and Trade Facilitation Project. Financed by the European Commission and in close cooperation with the government of Mozambique, UNIDO helped develop this joint programme, which has achieved notable results. I believe the slogan that we developed for the programme, uh, entitled Tested in Mozambique, Accepted Everywhere, is the best way to summarise what we are trying to do for Mozambique. Uh, we have a big focus on the quality component, but to have good quality is not enough. It is important that the quality is recognized, that the tests uh, that are performed are accurate, and that somebody has the confidence that these are accurate, and for that you need accreditation, you need recognition. And this is all about just building the trust that Mozambican products are safe and are of very good quality. One of the project's three components is the strengthening of the national quality infrastructure. The approach is to help institutions and structures offering quality-related services to the Mozambican economy. Institutions like the National Institute of Standardization and Quality of Mozambique INUC, for example, one of the project's main beneficiaries. UNIDO has helped the institution by providing equipment such as vehicles, computers, metrology instrumentation and an up-to-date communication network. The institution and its staff members have also benefited considerably through the know-how acquired in the various training programs such as standardization, metrology and conformity assessment. The project has also helped with the establishment of a national legal metrology system as well as offering technical assistance in the areas of standards development, laboratory accreditation, calibration and certification. O programa da Unido ajudou o INOC em primeiro lugar porque houve o ownership. Nós fomos capazes eh, de dizer na altura do desenho do projeto o que é que nós queríamos de acordo com aquilo que são as necessidades primárias do país na área de normalização, certificação, metodologia e nas barreiras técnicas. O projeto está sendo implementado de acordo com o que está previsto, por isso que uh, eu, por exemplo, como responsável da instituição, estou muito satisfeito daí que apelo que, uh, que este projeto tenha a sua continuidade, porque também é a partir dessa continuidade que vai se garantir 
alguma sustentabilidade que se pretende. The institution is growing rapidly and the commitment of the Mozambican government to assure sustainability could not be more evident as with their financing of the new INUC facilities. Moçambique precisa ter uma participação no comércio internacional, mas há requisitos para que essa participação, essa partilha seja efetiva e vai crescendo ano após ano. E um dos grandes elementos fundamentais é a qualidade dos produtos. É cumprir com os requisitos internacionais em relação aos produtos, por um lado, mas por outro lado também cumprir com os requisitos exigidos por cada país. Uh, daí a importância deste programa uh, e uh, onde a Unido uh, faz a gestão e é com financiador. E temos aqui um, o INOC, que tem a ver com as normas, com a qualidade, a certificação e outras instituições. Então este é um dos fatores importantes uh, uh, deste programa, tendo em conta a participação do país, do Moçambique, no comércio internacional. The second component of the project is to enhance the availability of information and advisory services for trade. This is implemented by the International Trade Centre, the ITC, which has partnered with UNIDO in helping strengthen national institutions, such as the Institute for Export Promotion, IPEX. I think that for the future of aid for trade and for trade-related technical cooperation, close cooperation uh, among the international organizations and the development actors is absolutely indispensable. And um, I am glad to see that um, by teaming up for this particular project, we have been able to extend the basis of expertise of resources, of contacts and of networks for the benefit of our target group of companies in Mozambique. And whereas uh, UNIDO helps, for instance, in methodology and standards, um, we can bring in market knowledge for final demand and for best marketing strategies. IPEX, which has benefited from equipment and technical assistance, is important for the development of an enterprise's exportability. It's also taking a lead in the development of a national export strategy. Trade facilitation is the third component of the project. Here, the Mozambique Revenues Authority was assisted to improve its operations by reducing time and resource costs in dealing with trade-related matters. Help offered includes the upgrade of facilities such as multimedia classrooms and libraries, as well as the provision of equipment to upgrade remote border posts training programs in English, investigative capabilities, risk management, fiscal auditing and customs legislation have also benefited the institution and its staff. Before the training, uh, I was not used to English and uh, we have that uh, challenge of uh, integration, regional integration and uh, Especially, I'm working on the uh, directorate of uh, police revenue, and whereby sometimes we have to harmonize our legislation with the other counties of the SEDAC. But it's not only the institutions and its staff that benefit from this project, companies have profited as well. Ms. Lucia Bebane, for example, she is proud of her business. Together with her employees, she can now better package and sell peanuts. Her new client, LAM, is the Mozambican national airline. IPEX assists me to get another kind of packaging because before that I used to use a kind of packaging which I was not able to fill up with the nitrogen which is the product to, to keep for longer. So that's why uh, I was not really prepared to export. And after that now, I have this uh, uh, the, 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 the good quality of uh, packaging. And now I'm able just to fill up with nitrogen to keep the product for longer and to export for a long time. Like Lucia, also Mr. Faisal Razak has gained from this program. 
His company, which produces cement, has been assisted in the implementation of ISO 9001 quality management systems in order to improve production processes and become more competitive on the Mozambican market. Da, da Unido, ele deu um valor muito importante, um empurrão muito grande à nossa empresa para darmos os, os passos à certificação da nossa empresa. Portanto, o que é uma certificação? Vai nos permitir que trabalhamos com mais qualidade no mercado, uma vez que o país está a dar estes passos de, de qualidade de um modo geral, uh, exige que as empresas trabalhem com produtos de qualidade. The project is also assisting testing laboratories. These laboratories are important as they help national companies become more competitive by issuing reliable results of their tested products. Like Swiss Labs, for example, which is receiving technical assistance by Unido to expedite its accreditation process. O programa da Unido para a acreditação do laboratório representa para a Swiss Lab Laboratório de Controlo de Qualidade uma ajuda imprescindível, porque controle de qualidade pressupõe acreditação num laboratório. E nós teríamos muito poucas possibilidades nos próximos tempos de conseguir essa acreditação e sermos aceitos internacionalmente. The program has indeed rendered notable results, so much so that a follow-up project funded by the EC is planned. I think the collaboration between the European Union and UNIDO in the Business Environment Support and Trade Facilitation Programme is a very important and strategic contribution. It's small in financial terms. It's maybe one and a half million a year uh, compared to 50 million a year that we give in aid for trade in Mozambique. But it does a number of very practical, useful things, such as improving standards, improving quality, promoting exports, and assisting the customs administration through improving their systems and their communication. So these practical things have real benefits for business. They have real benefits also for consumers. A um, simple thing like improving the weights and measures infrastructure, going around the towns of Mozambique, ensuring that when people buy a litre of fuel or a kilo of grain, that's what they actually get, is very practical and useful. The programme is such that um, we're happy to propose a, a follow-up program for the next few years. I think a second phase would be well worth doing. The next step to be taken is to promote the catalysts of economic activity, small and medium enterprises. They are the customers of institutions such as INOC, helping sustain well-developed quality services, the backbone of a healthy and growing economy.